Hello, my name is Megan Roberts. I'm a genetic counselor here at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm commonly asked, what is a genetic counselor? And I think the best way to sum up what a genetic counselor is, is someone who is board certified and master's trained in human genetics. We also have a concentration in counseling. The concentration in counseling is geared towards helping individuals adjust to the information that we give. Here at Mayo Clinic Jacksonville, I play a vital role in the breast clinic. The breast clinic primarily sees patients who are either newly diagnosed breast cancers or individuals who are considered high risk to develop breast cancer. So what is my role? My role is to assess if individuals who are referred to me have a hereditary risk to develop breast cancer. Well, I often get asked, do I need to see a genetic counselor? Maybe one of my family members, my friends need to see a genetic counselor. I'd say keeping in mind that only about 5 to 10 percent of all breast cancer is hereditary. These red flags that I'm going to mention next are what I would consider the indications for genetic counseling. First would be anybody diagnosed under the age of 50 with breast cancer, families which consist of three or more women with breast cancer, any male breast cancer despite age, any individual with ovarian cancer under 60 with a family history of breast cancer, and I'd also like to say that individuals of Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry with any form of breast or ovarian cancer within the family would be indications for referral. So how do you get in to talk to me? I'd say call the breast clinic at 904-953-0707. Once you make that appointment, I will sit down with you. I will talk to you about your personal and family history and give you my recommendations and my thoughts on whether your personal history and family history are suggestive of a hereditary cancer syndrome. If we feel testing is indicated from there, we will talk about insurance implications and if the testing will be covered. If we do decide that it's indicated and we do order testing. It takes about three to four weeks to get this test back. At that point, I'll be involved in giving you the results, telling you what those results mean, what our plan of action is, and then obviously talking to your family members as well. From there, the appropriate referrals will be made to the appropriate physicians who can manage your care. We hope to see you here in the breast clinic, and if you have any questions or concerns, I'd encourage you to call.